the first tip i wanna give you is on us 100 okay i hope by now you know that us 100 at half past three makes a sharp move it makes a spike either bullish or bearish but it just makes a spike and that is half past three in south african time gmt plus two so from your time zone try to find out that time these days at half past three us 100 is going to be making bullish spikes only okay so most of the time us 100 is going to be spiking bullish these days until until further notice let me show you why i'm on the daily time frame okay so if you analyze from the daily i'm just going to use simple methods okay first thing notice that price was at a support right here and it has tested it one two three four times and then it shifted upward okay if you use trend lines notice that there was this trend line which price broke through and then came back to retest it again and then it is now on a bullish movement okay if you are using my my strategy that i used to talk about in the channel price made this lowest point right here which was not lower than this one so this is related to smart money concepts and that move started right here which marks this as a key level so price broke through this key level and then came back to test it so from here it is expected that us 100 makes or continues in the bullish direction so during the day us 100 might range but at half past three you are going to see it being pushed upwards because the news somehow only speed the market they don't change anything okay that was the first tip the other tip let's take it from oil wti okay if you look at oil there's something very interesting here there was a day when i came to the market and i saw this gap okay i saw this gap which price left whenever you see this gap in the market whether on oil or gold or any currency pair whenever you see this gap just know that at some point price will come back not even at some point price will eventually come back to fill that gap and you usually find these gaps on mondays when you analyze the market on mondays you are likely to find these gaps price was somewhat price was somewhat at this point i knew for sure that price was going to make a pull back and fill this gap so whenever you see gaps in the market don't take them lightly and this is on the daily time frame which means if you saw this gap early you were going to take advantage of this downtrend for the coming days that is why i advise that on mondays you do your analysis from the daily time frame so that you see opportunities that are lying ahead of you during the coming week so for the other tip that i'd like to give you uh, maybe let's go to your head there's a good example on your head okay right there this is your head if you look at your head let me show you from the hour time frame so that you see what I am talking about. See this trade. It's not magic. It comes with experience how to find such trades. And I want to show you how to find them today. So what you do is this. So you do the same thing. You come to a high time frame. You come to a high time frame and you do your analysis. Once you've done your analysis for this, I zoomed out and when price was at this bottom dotted line, I knew that it was going to jump up and come to the top of this uh, of this key zone. This is somewhat a key region. So I knew that price was going to come and jump to this higher point. So I placed my take profit here from the daily time frame. But for the stop loss, you come to the smaller time frames. You place 
place your stop loss based on the smaller time frames. This will make you to have a tight stop and a very big run. So when analyzing, you place your stop loss on the smaller time frames and place your take profit on the bigger time frames. And when you take the trades, you take uh, at least two trades. You take at least two trades, but I like to take more. I like to take uh, three or more so that for the first trade, for the first trade, I take my profits somewhere right here. Just to have some small profits, should price come back and take me out in loss, I know that I would have something so that at least I break even. And for the second trade, I now consider key levels in the market. So for the second trade somewhere right here, I would take my profits after noticing that price keeps ranging right here i'll take my profits and then for the third trade i just leave it uh, for the last target but of course once it has moved maybe halfway i then lock profits i then lock profits which means i can move, move my stop loss to this point that is if price is now somewhere at this point so that is what i do and after price makes another spike after price makes another spike i shift my stop loss again to somewhere at this point so that is how i manage my trades i have several trades at first i take some of the trades early the first time price jumps into profit i take my trades and then I take uh, other profits somewhere in the middle and then I leave the rest of the trades to run. It's like uh, one of the signals we had today, it was on Euro GBP. So this was today's signal on Euro GBP. I had price coming up to, up to that week day. But at this dotted line, it's where I took uh partial profits because i entered with several trades so at this dotted line i took partial profits now price made a pullback or came back even if it can come and take me out and hit my stop loss i have already booked in some profits so this is not causing me to shake i already have something to cater for any losses that might happen right here but of course if it continues bullish it's even an added advantage so it is like that trading requires that you you become a little smart so these are the videos that can help you achieve that i wish you the best for your trading